Welcome back to the broadcast. You know, it may sound like a joke at first, but it is absolutely not. It's actually a very serious condition. It's called trichotillomania, and it is known as the hair pulling disorder. So here to tell us more is Gary Hennerberg. Gary, thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me To this share morning. your story and shed light on this, on this very, very odd disorder. What is it and how does it start? Well, trichotillomania is hair pulling disorder because mm -hmm. right. it's a compulsive urge. And for any of us who begin as children, I mean, we begin as children pulling hair, um, it, it, it's unstoppable. You, pulling you just, your own hair. Pulling your yes. own hair, not other people's hair, mm -hmm. your own hair. And, and it's, <laughs> it's, it's very mysterious. So this is something that normally starts in children and predominantly in little girls, is that right? That is correct. Okay. About nine out of ten uh, children who have trichotillomania are, are girls. So I'm actually a minority within a small right. minority of people. How early did you start pulling your hair? I was age six. Six, okay. And your parents obviously knew something was wrong at what point? You know, I, I have yet to really fully understand when they knew. But when I discovered they knew is when they took me to a doctor. And, and back in the 1960s, this was something no one understood. I felt very alone, mm -hmm. very isolated. Mm -hmm. And that's still a feeling of children even today in the age right. of, of social media. And they probably disciplined you for it and said, stop doing that. Yeah, you know, surprisingly, my parents, I, I was so blessed to have been born to parents who understood that, that uh, yelling at me, that, uh, that disciplining me was not the solution. And when I talk and go to the national conferences and talk to other hair pullers. We all agree that the best parents were those who really kept a distance from it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, what triggers this? Is it like, is it a nervousness or is it, what would you, have you been able to put your finger on it? You know, I think that part of it is your mind, my mind goes adrift. You know, as children, you're reading. Reading and watching television are two really trigger points where the Florida? person... Because you're, you're it, it could be and... it could be boredom. I mean, I always pulled with my left hand, never with my right hand. Are you right-handed? I'm right-handed. Okay, that's interesting. Oddly enough, mm -hmm. um, but it, it, it is something which it, it's triggered by by nothing specifically. But you don't ever pull in public. Right. You only pull alone. Interesting. And it's very shameful when you realize you, you, you've been polling for minutes and minutes and, and you look down at the floor mm. or your desk if you were working and you see all of your hair. Doesn't it hurt? Yeah, it seems like No. It's actually a very pleasurable. Really? I know this sounds very bizarre, mm -hmm. but it's a very pleasurable thing when, when you pull hair. Now, obviously, I've shaved my head, so I don't have hair to pull. And it's been an interesting um, transformation since I decided seven years ago, just this month, to shave my head. And, and for that, it has been a tremendous weight off of my shoulders. So, so the helped. problem went away for you? Or do you pull on eyelashes and things like oh, that? Oh, yes. I still have, mis I have a mustache. And every once in a while, if I'm in a zone, it'll start just going. Mm -hmm. and, and I will look in the mirror and I'm like, oh, my goodness, what have I done again? Right. So, so it, 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 you don't get rid of it. You wrote this book called Urges. Yes. And you're also part of the vocal majority. That's correct. So how did this whole thing come about, your book, and then how you told your, your friends at Vocal Majority Thank about you your for, issue? Thank you for asking, because it's, a, it's one of the more redeeming parts of the story. For, for me, the three phases that I had to go through were, were first of all, to understand what my purpose in life is, right. and then accepting my disorder, and then finding my gifts and talents. Mm -hmm. And for me, one of my gifts and talents is that I enjoy singing, hence singing with the vocal majority. And when it came down to telling them, I, I realized I had worn a hairpiece for a number of years, mm -hmm. okay? And I, I decided to shave my head, which meant getting rid of it. And it meant, meant of course, an amazing change in my physical appearance. Right. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> when I decided, I, I, I planned for months to, to shave my head. And then uh, uh, I, 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 I knew that there was going to be a evening when I would have to get, you know, tell the guys. And that night when they saw me, there were guys who were looking at me, you know, oddly, like, wow, what have you done? And, and I was surprised. There were people who were concerned that I, I had cancer and it was undergoing chemotherapy. But when I got up in front of them, um, I shared with them my story. And frankly, I just didn't know if there would be acceptance or not. Mm -hmm. I didn't know if they would, would um, end up 
you know, putting a distance between me because of a very bizarre, you know, disorder, which is so un misunderstood. Mm -hmm. And as I was talking to them, I, I got to a point where I just said, I'm not keeping it a secret anymore. I'm going to talk about it. And they started applauding and applauding. That must have been so therapeutic And it was, for you. It was so therapeutic. Um, and I, I literally cried. That's after awesome. That well, Gary, can you tell me real quick, what are some quick, just real fast, what would you recommend? How can we help somebody? If, if you observe children, especially if, they're, if their hair is combed over in odd situations, mm -hmm. um, talk to school, okay. talk, talk to, to um, teachers. Um, they may not understand it. Go to trick.org, T-R-I-C-H.org, okay. right. right. or, or my website, hairpullingbook.com. Thank you so much. Gary, I know a lot of people are going to get a lot of help from your book as well. Yeah. Thank you. your story. If you'd like to read more, you can check out Gary's book called Urges. Get it at Amazon.com or wherever you buy your books.